And today we have been invited to La Calera, one of the mountains near Bogota. So we are going to this place that is like a kind of a hostel where travelers can stay and enjoy Bogota because La Calera is really close to Bogota, like around 20, 30 minutes. And yeah, we will see what they have there. So there are two different ways to go to La Calera. And the first one is going up on the 72 street and the other one is going through Sopo. And the one that we're doing today is the one going through Sopo. So it's time to go. On today's expedition, uh, we will go and try to find someone that wanna come with us. Yes, yes, I need a friend. I need another pirate, someone that will be by my side in every adventure. Hey, you! Do you wanna come to this adventure? Come on! Really? Oh my god! Yeah! Let's go together! <laughs> now I have a friend. Now it's time to go. Time to go. Oh, no, wait. Hey, uh, mm, yes, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now, bye. <laughs> So we found our first peaje, which is like a stop that you have to pay like an amount of between three and four dollars. And they use this money to improve the roads. So we finally arrived and we're here in La Calera and this place, the place of Consuelo, which is called La Casita de Colores, as you can see, is really, really nice. There are flowers everywhere and you can see different colors on the walls, on the flowers. She is a really nice person. She can help you with whatever you need. There are many things to do here. You can go to do horse riding. You can go and do parapente, which is the one that you throw yourself like in a big kite and you fly. Oh, there is a theater really close by. They have ongoing place and you can go and yeah, watch them. So there are many things to do. This is the place. Look at the view. Like that's her house, Consuelo's house. And we just have to walk two minutes down there. And we will see La Casita de Colores. It's time to go. So this one that you can see over here, that's La Casita de Colores. And this is a completely rural place. Like they have cows. Sometimes they get scared. Of course you have Wi-Fi here and it's really close from Bogota, that is the capital of Colombia. It's really easy to go to Bogota, it's really easy to go to La Calera, you can go by bike. Later on, if it doesn't rain, we will go on a bike and if not, we will go tomorrow. And finally, we are in La Casita de Colores and now it's time to go and check it out. And look at this place, it's wonderful. It's like a little dollhouse, but you have everything in it. So it's the bed that is right here on my back, the wood ceiling that is over there, up there, and it has even those little lights, really romantic. So it could be a really good place for a romantic getaway. And right here, it has its own little kitchen, but it has everything in it. It has a table, some chairs, all of them are painted different colors, which I find it really cool. And you have here plates, cups, cutlery. You have here a little, like a little stove that you can use. And what else? The sink. What else do you need? 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 And this one right behind me is the little bathroom. But look at this beauty, it has shower with hot water, it has these things 
is like a, like pieces of wood on the wall, bottles on the wall. I really like the decoration of this place. And look at this thing that has the sink. So if you come closer, you can see that the sink has like little flowers, blue flowers. Look how beautiful all this stuff is. Even here has more flowers, has flowers everywhere. And now it's time to go and see the other room. It has two rooms. Right now it can have up to five people. But she's building right now another room. So she's gonna be able to get up to seven people. Like you can have a whole party right here. And this one is the second door. Wow, this is a full apartment. It has right here the dining room with some beautiful furniture on the back. More furniture this side. And this one is the kitchen. And this one is double the size of the other one. So it has a stove and the cabinets with all the cutlery, all the things that you need. Cutlery, cups and plates. It has even a tea game to make a tea party. And it has more cabinets on this side where you can put the things that you bring. So it has one bed here. That is really comfy. And on the other side, it has another bed. So this one is a double bed. And she has these decorations, which everything looks handmade, but I find them really cool. And you can open here, and you can have a lot of light, or you can close it and see your friend the cow right there. This one is really creative. She used all the purses just as decoration on the sides of the window and right here you can see the whole nature and the view is amazing and this one is the private bathroom with a private little pond the sink over here the toilet and the shower that's all you need right look at this furniture it's painted completely handmade she told me that she made it I just find it like really amazing how she transforms things. And she's using plastic bottles just to make some vases. And I didn't see these things. Like, I really like Christmas lights. They make the space more comfy. And this mysterious door that has a lock on it. Whoa. It has mysterious things that we cannot know what it is. <laughs> Actually, this is the other room that Consuelo is building. So that's why it's locked. But really soon, She's gonna have it ready. And you can have all your friends leaving. But not for now, but really soon. Really, really soon. Yeah, yeah. Look at these little paws. And she painted in the same color of the house. I really love the details of this place. Also, it has like a little creek. And we're gonna go and see how it looks. You can meditate, you can sit down there, have a relaxed time. It's like a little jungle here. So we will see how beautiful it is. I haven't been there. It's a complete adventure going to the creek. Be careful with these things. They have thorns. I think it's a blackberry plant. But yeah, be careful with them. They can pinch you. So if you listen carefully, this one that you can see here, it's a little creek and it goes under all those trees. We're gonna continue going down just to see if it's possible to get into the creek. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, better not to bring high heels here. Yeah, but joke. Okay, so yeah, if you continue walking, uh, yeah, I think this is the end because it has like a fence. So, I mean, if you want to get into the creek, it's possible, but it's just too small. So, it's just up to you. Yeah, I think this is just like a little place to meditate or walk around or come and read a book. Oh, you can also draw here. 
Right. Yeah, it's a relaxation place. Or a place that you can use to be more creative. I think that's it for the creek. So look at this tree. It's a really, really big tree. But that is not the amazing part. The amazing part is that Consuelo is thinking about making a tree house. Imagine a tree house in that huge tree. So this one is another option. If you like to camp all this space here and use it for your tent. So yeah, that's La Casita de Colores or a small color house. There are some things that she offers here. Like she can offer you breakfast if you want. Also, she can pick you up in the airport if you need to or she can pick you in town, La Calera town. It's really easy to get here. And if you don't need to be picked up, then you can arrive here, she will send you a map. It's just completely up to you. You decide how you wanna get in here, but you should get in here. It's a really nice place. It's a place that you can just have a relaxed weekend. Or if you travel through South America, it's a place that you can stay for a couple of days. That's it of La Casita de Colores, and now we're gonna go on the bike as I told you. So now, it's time to go and find that bike. Before we go, let's check this out with my friend Lola, La Vaca Lola. Now we're ready and we're going to La Calera in this bike. So, let's go. Finally arrived here, we are in La Calera, this is the church, the one that is behind me. This is the spot that I like the most, so it's the one that I wanted to show you. And yeah, that's it. So see you in the next video, and just keep it tuned. Oh.